The biggest problem within our community is knowledge. We don't know. Debt is welcomed because it's celebrated. That's all we know. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna get that credit card. I'm gonna fuck that credit card up and it is what it is. They gotta figure that out. I ain't got it after that. The knowledge of banks and what you can do or can't do, you don't even get it because you go to check cashing places. The reason why you go to check cashing places because I don't want to go through that shit with the banks. I don't trust that. Go right there to check cashing places. Let me get mine. Let me get mine now. Take $30, whatever. Let me get it. The knowledge isn't given. Here's a mistake most people make. Their jump from personal credit to business credit is not quite there. They say, hey, man, I have a FICO score, man and I want to open a business and I want to use my personal credit card to purchase product for that business. I want to use my personal credit worthiness to open up an office lease, get a building for my business. That's all fine and dandy, but the purpose of getting, getting of opening a business is separating your personal from your business and everything, including your finances and your credit. And so the first thing you should do is just, okay, cool, I gotta start establishing business credit. Yo, 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 I got a question, bro. It's an emergency. What's going on, Trey? What's up, bro? I need to know about business credit and personal credit. Can you help me out? What's going on, man? What's going on? What's the difference? The difference between business credit and yeah, personal yeah, yeah. credit? What, what, what is it? Uh, there's some differences, man. Some differences, right? Please and so, I need to know. let me see, no, man. I need to know. Please help, help me. So business credit, personal credit, right? Obviously, a lot of us know what personal credit is, right? You got your personal credit score, you got your FICO, right? Experian, you got TransUnion, and you got Equifax, Equifax, right? And so I can go with the differences. If you're a business owner, obviously you want to build business credit. I meet so many business owners that don't focus on building business credit. They go out there, and you know, there's no education on this in college or in high school. They don't teach you these no, concepts, no, right? No, no, no. You gotta come across it yourself. And Trey, as you're building your your brand, man, and videography, right? So you got personal credit, right? You got personal here, personal credit. We'll put his personal here. And you got, you know, versus business credit, right? What are the pros and cons? What do you want to do? How do you get started? With so personal, that's all about personal credit. Everybody knows about that, right? Personal credit is pretty obvious, right? You have a FICO score, right? Mm -hmm. My hand right here is horrible, but FICO score here, right? Right. So you got the Experian, right? I'll just put EXP here. You got the your TransUnion, you got TU, you got Equifax, right? We'll put EQ here. These three different bros here give you bro, bro give you a, a credit score. I think anywhere from like I want to say zero to eight fifty is the highest score you can get. And obviously, if you if you don't pay your credit cards on, on bills on time, if you have a high credit card limit and you're maxing your credit card out, you have something called utilization. If you're you have defaults on credit cards being closed, bankruptcies, all that kind of stuff that impacts it. So the personal credit score is really your integrity rating on paying something back. If I go out there and say, hey, man, I'm going to get a loan for a mortgage. What's the chances of you defaulting? If I were to purchase a car, right? If a lender is giving you cash, what's the chances of Chris Hart defaulting on that payment? Are they, are they, are they credit worthy? And that score allows you to say, hey, am I credit worthy? Now, here's what happens in life. Personal individuals go into business for themselves. DBA, uh, you do a, a sole proprietor, a sole proprietor, you may do an LLC, an S Corp. And a lot of us make a choice at some point in our life to say, hey, I want to work for myself, right? So I see so many people jump from W-2 employment, having their own job, starting a side business, they're selling t-shirts, they're selling certain things. Okay, cool. Here's a mistake most people make. Their jump from personal credit to business credit is not quite there, right? They say, hey, man, I have a FICO score, man, and I want to open a business, and I want to use my personal credit card to purchase product for that business. I want to use my personal name, my good name, my credit worthiness to open up an office lease, get a building for my business. That's all fine and dandy, but why are you, the purpose of getting, getting opening a business is separating your personal from your business and everything, including your finances and your credit. And so the first thing you should do is just say, okay, cool, I gotta start establishing business credit. Well, the difference is here, right? So business credit, first of all, you have a sc FICO score also, but not really a FICO score, right? You have something called your Dunn's number, Dunn's and Bradstreet. You have a Dunn's number you wanna get, right? That score can be anywhere from zero to 10, to, to one, to, was it zero to 100, right? Your Dunn's number. Um, Duns, yeah, Duns. Duns is real big around government contracts. If you know a government contract, you're a business owner, you gotta have a Duns number, right? It's free. It's free, right? Dunsandbradstreet.com. Google it. Get a Duns number, right? No, not at all, sir. Not at all. And then you have an Experian business business uh, score also, right? I believe this is anywhere from zero to I want to say 500. Um, don't quote me on that, but you're the 500, uh, or maybe maybe 450, right? Experian business credit, right? And you have other ones out there too. Uh, these are the main two ones you have out there. There's also one, I believe, a TransUnion. Trans has one too, I believe, right? And has a score, I believe, zero also to 100, right? And so how do you build these up? These are tied to what? They're tied to something called an EIN number. E-I-N, right? And so the first thing you want to do is to start separating personal business from, from your, um, your personal from business is 
go establish an LLC, go get an EIN number, right? I'm not gonna teach you that today, but go get that done. Two, what you wanna do is you wanna go out there and get a business account. Establish a business account. I had a video I talked about earlier before about having a business account with your LLC tied to it. You get your EIN number with that business account. You gotta have your, you have your other, all your stuff in order, right? Articles of information, all that good stuff. Once you do that, they start reporting your income to your account, starts to get reported to these, these credit bureaus here, right? Now, here's what's cool about this here. What's the biggest difference here, right? I'm a business owner. I wanna go out there and purchase a property. All right, okay, cool. Am I gonna use my personal FICO score here for credit worthiness or my DUNS number, my experience business number, or TransUnion? So obviously, if I'm a business owner, right? Let me give you a scenario. I have a family, I got a wife and kids, or I have a husband, so maybe, you get, maybe you're, you're married, you have a husband, right? Whatever it may be. You say, hey, I want to go out there and I want to open up a business. I want to buy some real estate property. I want to do an Airbnb rental, right? I want to do a, what's this new car thing people do now with cars, Turo, right? I want to buy some cars on Turo. Do you want to go to the dealership and get business based off this here, this, this, this credit worthiness and put three, four cars in your name? Or say I have a legitimate business, I'm going to use my business credit to buy those cars on Turo. What does it do? It, it brings no personal liability back to your personal finances. So think about it. Think about it. If you knew in America today, you can go out there, open a business, take a big risk. One of the biggest challenges in America, today, we don't, we're afraid of risk. We're afraid to say, oh, I, I, I don't want to fail. Okay, cool. If you establish your business credit correctly, you can go out there, take a risk and open up a Turo business, go open up a clothing brand, whatever you want to do, go buy the, 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 the clothes on a net 30, net 60, next 90. If, if it happens to fail, who's it fall back on? The LLC, the S Corp, the C Corp, right? You separate personal from business finances here. You, you've established a DUNS number, you have an experience number, you're, you're paying your bills on time, and you're slowly separating your personal from your business. You have two different entities now, and you're building corporate credit. And I think so many people don't know the difference. So if you are a business owner today, you're like, man, Chris, I have a small business. I have an idea. I got a vision. I'm passionate about something. Go establish a brand, a name for yourself. This does not happen overnight. I was watching a video from Rick Ross the other day. It says it takes 10 years to build a brand. It takes 10 years to build a brand, right? It's going to happen overnight. But if you have a vision about what you want to accomplish, go out there and say, hey, let me start the steps in the process. Let me get my EIN on. Let me, let me establish the LOC. Let me start to separate my personal from my business. And here's one of the key benefits here. If I go out there and I say, hey, man, I'm going to go finance something on my personal credit, on a credit card. I go put 20K on my credit card here. If I had a business credit card, I put 20K on it here. What happens here? The 20K on my business account keeps my personal utilization down. So what it does, it allows my credit score to stay high. If I max out all my personal credit cards from my business, which I see so many people do, they max out their personal credit cards, it kills my personal credit score. Yeah. So if I go out there and max out my business credit cards, what happens to my personal credit? No negative impact. So if I'm applying for that home loan for my personal finances for my family, it has no impact on it, guys. So, Guys, this is a nugget really quick for you, Trey. Man, I know Trey, you're getting your business going, man. Soon, soon you're establishing your business credit. Looking forward to you um, taking off, man, in your world. But most importantly, man, make sure you know the difference between these two here and establish your business credit. Sure, appreciate you for answering my question. Absolutely.